for and a short brief overview over on a naval battle here that I discovered. Get an icon, it says naval engagement is one. Battle of the Atlantic, 59% chance of victory. What's going on here? Then you might wonder. We have the Savannah Squadron, four ships, one is disabled. I just got a message popping up saying a Confederate ship was sunk. So disabled and sunk seems to be the same thing. You have the total number of guns, days at sea remaining 24, right? And we're, f we're blockading here with Block Island Sound Squadron, only four ships. It says 15 guns. Uh, Although, if you hover over it, you see that we have a lot more guns. Yeah, we do. And why is that? <clears throat> we have only sailing ships. Well, we have this... We have four ships. Let me show you the Navy. But two are grayed out, so they're not in the battle. Uh, I don't know where they are. Heading down here. Oh, they're in harbors for repairs. Oh. Hmm. Um... I suppose the AI has sent these ships to repair on his own volition then? Huh, I didn't know the AI could do that. They're only on 86%. So all we have here are is a bark and a slow. Okay, so that's a good that's a good opportunity for uh, the Confederates to sally out and attack here. Huh, it's a bit of a weak... Uh, we could give them a 94% bark here. They're probably not going to enter the, the, comp, the battle, but I wasn't aware that uh, the AI would send uh, ships back to port to repair. I guess that's a good thing to, they have blockade squadrons maintaining themselves automatically. I like that. I'll send out the steam, steam frigates here. So, okay, that explains why All right, well, the two ships that are in this combat sunk a Savannah squadron ship. 21 guns to 15 guns. Let's see what happens here. It's, it's nighttime. They don't seem to be fighting at night. Which makes sense. You can't tell what kind of ships they're running. Only that they have 21 guns. You can see what kind of guns. They have crossed swords, so that means they're in combat. Although this one is in blocking, blockading symbol. So you can see that this one is in combat, but this has the same icon as always. I mean, it's of course it's supposed to run on autopilot. Here. Okay, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Don't know how days at sea remaining works, 45. I've just left my uh, blockading squadrons at sea indefinitely for for half a year now, since the campaign started, and that, that doesn't seem to... It's, it's, it's noon, and we haven't seen any... Maybe it's just this means that they are in the general area, we have an 87% chance of victory now. Okay. What, why? Do we have... I mean, they have more guns than us. They have four ships. We have only two ships. Or did we... Yeah. Kennen, Kennen Bankport and Hetzel are the only ships in the area. I wonder if red... Now red means it's on... Why is one ship red and the other one grayed out? Or oh, the two I sent? Oh, is it because that's... Alright, sorry, that's... You select it and you go, it turns red. Alright. Moving to fleet Block Island Sound. All right, these two ships that I entered, it takes one day to get here. Zero days to get here. Guess it's faster. Nine knots compared to ten knots. Uh huh. The faster ship is coming there. 
slower than the slower ship. The, I mean, they should be arriving at the same time. I don't know. Cannon bunk port is sunk. We lost a ship. That might be the first Union ship that's lost. That's not good. Did we lose? The Battle of the Atlantic has ended with the Savannah Squadron retreating. Hmm. The engagement was a remarkable strategic victory. Well, I don't know about that. With the enemy fleet steaming to the safety of their harbors. One ship have been sunk. Well, I guess... One ship of ours or one of them? One ship was sunk in each fleet as far as I'm, I know. But we only get to report that one ship had... One ships have been sunk. The condition of the enemy fleet is believed to be barely afloat. My fleet has suffered one sunk. Alright, so yeah, there's one sunk in each fleet. The condition of my fleet is barely afloat. Well, now I wonder... Will the AI barely afloat? Come on. Head cell is on 85%. That's good enough for me. Hmm. Okay. But we won that battle. That was very interesting. That's how naval battle works in the game. So what's going on mid-November? Well, the big thing here is the Siege of Harper's Ferry. We have around 38,000 confederates sieging 28 federals. So um, if we want to win this because according to the we only have 49% chance to win it's a bit of a toss up yeah I don't know what to do send more troops maybe to a siege uh, we captured uh, the fort of Hardaway here and we moved into Ch Charleston confederacy only has 3400 men facing us I'm thinking of sending the cavalry here. It will probably be a mistake, but let's do it anyway. We're gonna detach Summoners Cavalry Division, 1300 cavalry, and here they are. That is called Army of the James. No, we're gonna call it... Oh, it turns into a core. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, although... I think I have... Uh, used individual brigades as... I wasn't planning on, on building a new... Alright, I guess we don't have any cavalry leaders left. Let's see if we can capture Grayson here. This is what the Union AI does to me when I play the Confederacy, so we're gonna repay their favor. I don't think this uh, Ohio River Squadron can go into this river here and support. I tried to send it in, but no, he is kind of like, no, no, I don't want to go in there. They do look the same size river, but. Someone, some Porter is oh, okay. Porter is the commander, so like he can wait. We lost Portsmouth, huh? Let's go down and scout here. Not sure if a uh, river squadron can recapture Portsmouth. Wow, they invaded Ohio. I wasn't aware. Hmm, so what do we do about that? We don't have any forces nearby. We'll scout with the river squadron. Maybe I have to send the cavalry over here to recapture. Every little bit helps, right? Uh, we have another siege uh, at Grafton, but we outnumber them heavily and it really seems like we're going to win this one. The arrow of the siege meter here is... So I don't know why the AI decided to initiate this and, and he's building a depot with his larger army here, Army of the Northwest. I think, you know, he should have used both his armies to have a fighting chance to win that siege. It's, it's a pretty bad siege decision, if you ask me. Well, oh, another thing. Look at the economy. 
we are oh, we were running a large surplus we're not anymore something I'd like to see in the game is a more stable uh, stable graph without you doing anything um, numbers will jump very heavily from one end to another you can see how the graphs how they go up and down and I'd like to see graphs change when you actually do something not just on their own I mean nothing changed no investments no towns captured the graph should stay stable uh, it makes it extremely hard to follow what's going on in the economy am I making a surplus or am I losing money heavily yeah maybe one of the other you take a guess my friend I would be very nervous as an economist in, in these these kind of economies to be honest what else going on all right it's yellow uh, I'm gonna yeah I'll have to use these 1300 cavalry to recapture oh wait are you moving no you're not moving why aren't oh wait we we recaptured Portsmouth now but through magic hmm. uh, wait did we recapture it with the Ohio squadron with its outer blue circle no because he's been here all the time I don't know it's magic it's magic okay and we haven't captured the Charleston Depot yet don't ask me why it's called Charleston Depot oh, because it's Charleston here all right we are recruiting a West Virginia small uh, brigade here in Fort Hard Hardaway. And we have now captured, I believe we've captured this town. Is, is there a town here? No, it's just a camp. Not sure why the readiness would go down into yellow. Oh, we're, we're constantly losing a bit because it's winter movement. Uh, oh, we only have 2% supplies. This is a really bad invasion. We don't have enough. Connect the depots within range. Left mouse button to right. We ha we're not connected to any depot. All right, so we really need to capture this one. Maybe we need to capture the town Charleston to capture the depot. That okay? That would that would kind of make sense. Like before, you have control of the area. You don't get ex access to the goodies. Although I have seen depots change sides in a weird fashion. Uh, Battle of Grafton ended with the army of Georgia retreating in panic. Right, I told you. I told you you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't siege one to two odds. You need uh, I mean you need to be outnumbered the defenders. But interestingly enough, look how this affected our readiness of the Army of West Virginia. It's in a really bad orange and yellow shape now, so no offensive operations. We are sitting on a level 2 depot, Grafton Depot here, and to me it looks... Okay, we are kind of low on artillery ammunition, but we have all... We're not out of any resources. So... I guess we're on hostile territory, being in West Virginia. It's a bit, it's a bit complicated to understand. Like low readiness, bad. Yes. Uh, high readiness, good. AI high readiness. I think I read in the discussion forums on Steam that the AI cheats with readiness. They're not using. They're not using it or. I don't mind so much. Sometimes the AI needs to cheat a bit. What else is going on? Well, we only have Harper's Ferry. We actually, according to this tooltip, has a better than 50% chance, 56% chance of victory. I would like to win Harper's Ferry. Um, I don't feel like I have more forces. Maybe I should send more forces from Army of Potomac. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what we got here. What can we send to... I 
I arranged my brigades and divisions a bit, leader-wise, name-wise. For example, 5th New York Division here consists of, of three new, brand new, 36 mile three-year contract. They have Springfield muskets, because we don't have good rifles for them. And uh, so it's just a fresh division here. And it's under Army Command, under McClellan. It's not in the core. I intend to keep him back. Uh, so I don't want to send these fellas until they've been through their first, been bloodied in the first battle. Here we have the first division. I think that's just 12 month volunteers. Yeah, I think we could send these guys. Oh, wait. He. Except, I don't want to send. This is a new brigade. But if we were to move this brigade over to I think we could send Okay, these are really good ones, two star. But since I don't know what's gonna happen in eight months with them. I'd rather use Okay, do we have any other twelve month or here? We have twenty four month people. Here we go, Rhode Island. Oh, uh, no. Michigan, Ohio, and Connecticut. I like these guys because they have two stars and they have a good name Capers, Connecticut Capers. Um, uh, let's keep them in this core, and also the fresh troops here, the Connecticut Brigade, they're fresh. So here we have Stone's 1st Division with some militia, and yeah sure you're experienced, but you, you haven't deserved, you'll go with muskets, because if they're only gonna sit in uh, a siege and lose Nutritional troops. Here's the Shenandoah. It's only. Wait a minute. 900. It's like 2,000 troops. Still says 6,000. I guess the game hasn't recalculated the two brigades I moved out. So we're sending 2,000 guys over here to Grant. There you go. It's gonna take them, I guess, four days. Because when I sent, no, it's only two days now. All right, I sent over troops and it would take them four days. Maybe because this is a smaller brigade I'm sending. Um, it takes less time. The railroads are less overcrowded. So in two days we have, oh, Army of the Ohio. Uh, oh, they're uh, trying to relieve. Yeah, I think we're gonna auto play this battle. Uh, can't be. Let's go auto resolve. <clears throat> See what happens. Okay, funny. The cavalry is moving back to reinforce automatically. Uh, they haven't received their orders yet. Still, they're in auto resolve apparently, and they are detached. So I don't quite see why they would. Uh... Okay, so auto resolve. It's a battle. It's not a siege. So I guess it's higher intensity, like a higher intensity siege. Maybe this was a stupid thing, but yeah, 92 casualties. Yeah, it's a battle. Slow moment, winter. Do you think we'll win this? Oh, look, we have a cute... I haven't done a lot of auto-resolving. Battle of Charleston. We only have a 57% chance. We outnumber them 3 to 1. And we're defending. All right. It's very cold. You have to give me a second, I need to close the window.
Thank you for the patience, boys and girls. So this is probably, I think it's the first auto assault battle I'm, I'm experimenting with. Um, so let's do this a little bit. Examine things, how they're going on here. Um, I mean, they're very heavily outnumbered. And yet... Victory balance... Okay, it says here that we have a 77% chance. Estimated length of engagement, three days. Okay. Well, the tooltips don't quite add up. 77 compared to 57. This makes more sense to me, 77. Um, can we, yeah, we can unpause here and... Do we see anything happening in this menu here? No. If you want to see what's going on, you have to close this and kind of look, watch. No, we're... Oh, we should bond. Oh, we are so poor. Look at it. We owe 265 million. We have a BBB plus debt rating. We are losing money, aren't we? Okay, we, but we got uh, bonds on the way. Don't worry. I, okay, worry, but there's nothing we can do now. Um, okay, routed units. So what you do is you watch the auto resolve here. Now we finished the building, that's gonna be the London Depot. Right, that's that's in the Cumberland Gap down here. Uh, hopefully that will relieve Army of Cumberland from the supply. They still have a 40%, but I guess the supply depot needs to fill up. Uh, right, is that the cavalry? That is the cavalry. Hmm. Okay, so a newly built depot, how does it look? It looks like this. It has very few, eight artillery, it has some, but I suppose these are very low numbers. So I guess the London Depot is now starting to buy purchase goods from the game, from the government budget, and they're buying it from, it's kind of hard to know, but the upkeep is 15K, which is nothing. Uh, shows the maintenance and wage costs per year. For government buildings, these costs are visible in the construction section of the financial report. Private companies are operating on their own. Okay, so this is in the construction section, the upkeep. Um, construction. Yeah, there, there isn't a construction. <laughs> you have buildings. I think that's what they meant. Oh, construction costs. Yeah, buildings. Expenses resulting in construction, upgrade of public buildings, military installations, and extraordinary costs for acquiring private companies. Well, you, I guess supply depot is not the depot itself. It's supply for the goods of the depot. Okay, that's a new one for me. I didn't realize that, that the depot itself, if it's empty and not being used, is cheap. It's, this is the supply being used and the goods in the depots themselves. Cost of supply delivered from supply depots to military units. Supply depots are purchasing goods on the market to fill up their stock and enable better supply of your armies. The stated expenses are a per annum estimate that are derived from the purchases of the last weeks. All right, so good to know. An empty, non-used supply depot is cheap. Well, 16 million, but... Well, it seems they're cheap, but if they are being used and goods are being transferred through them, through the depot to your military units, that's what this is, the supply depot, it's goods. Sorry, I'm repeating myself, but I need to remember this and I'm, I'm a bit old and foggy. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit thinking like, Jesus, oh, depots, depots are so expensive, I need to abandon them. Kind of don't. If you don't use them, you can leave them alone because they're not that expensive. Very good to know. At least this is my working uh, theory for now. Interesting. I, I like this. Uh, it's good reading the tooltips. Uh, you actually learn a thing or two from the game. And we won the Battle of Charleston. Department of South Carolina retreating. 
Yeah. I'd say these... We had 364 casualties. And they had 400 casualties. These losses are... I mean, they're balanced, right? Uh, we won the battle, we outnumbered them 3 to 1, they were attacking. If I had done this manually, and the AI army would have stayed and fought, I would have messed them up worse than this. I, did, I would. But, this is a fairly good and balanced auto-resolve result. It, it, it's like, it's a, it's a good feature if this is the result you get. Um, it alleviates the, the weakness of the tactical battle AI. It allows you to... I mean, if these numbers were crazy, you would never want to use auto resolve. I think that's the case in some games. But I, I, I mean, if I wanted to play with auto resolve, the outcomes here are quite reasonable. And I question the wisdom of the AI attack here attacking so heavily outnumbered but maybe he's a bit uh, uh, desperate here to relieve Charleston he's gonna lose a depot a fort and a town but then you see that what he's doing up here uh, building a depot up here with his largest army in the area and he also has this army which oh, I think they're recuperating after a lost stupid skirmish against the army of West Virginia up here so you have to realize, I'm keeping two focused armies, around 10,000 each, let's say that. And he's running around with, I think, four or even five smaller armies. Three, four thousand, and this uh, this army is a bit bigger, or 7,500 7, army of the Northwest. But really, the AI should learn to, if he had put these into one army, he probably would have had 15, 20,000, and he could have pushed one of my armies away from where they are. Um... Here we see a situation where defensive, not really that much outnumbered AI on a strategic map can't really handle the situation very well. I'm, I'm surprised because usually the AI is actually able to quite effectively, efficiently uh, focus his forces and using them. I, I'm not complaining much about AI performance on the strategic map. Like, I like how he's keeping a, a large army here, safeguarding Richmond, and just not leaving the, the road open. Not sure why he's not sitting in Manassas or Alexandria, closer to Washington, or on the depot, by all means. Um, it's a bit weird to me, but I'm not abusing it. I'm, I'm just staying here. Also, my, my readiness for the entire army isn't quite as high as I want it. Actually, it is not now. Oh no, we're gonna wait until it's full, uh, and I'm, I might not even attack it, it during winter. But anyway, usually the AI is rather competent, but in that depilations, why isn't he recapturing a new market? He has plenty of small armies, he could just send like 3,000 men over here, 2,400 men. So. Bit, bit uh, up and down, I guess, the strategic map AI. Mostly, it's actually performing well. I'm not criticizing it. Uh, okay, we lost sight of the Fayetteville. Uh, no, actually, where is it? Yeah, I think there were winter camping here in Fayetteville, and we are in Army of the West. We're sitting here now. I'm not, I don't know why we're not in winter camp here. Uh, all our supply alerts are have disappeared. That's good to know. The Army of Cumberland, with their London new London depot, are now not having a depot. But they have six hundred disabled. Ooh, that's like six seven percent of the entire army. Um, yeah, I like how the game simulates and recreates the high sickness, illness, casualty, attrition situation of the war. It's very realistic. It's one of the f last pre-industrial non-medicinal 
advanced wars. If you if you move ahead a little bit in time, these like what you had for thousands of years, like tr troops die in garrison and when resting outside of battle, like flies. I guess I'd I'd say you probably see Roman armies with better hygiene, hygiene and and uh, like camp discipline and management than many times during the civil war and that's the time difference of around 2000 years or so so it depends a bit what you do pre-industrial medicine wise uh this is not good i think let's see did we win harper's ferry or not third division retreated in panic we have earned us a stinging defeat against the vast and superior enemy being forced to give ground. I guess we are retreating. They suffered 3,700 casualties and we 5,000. That's not good. I don't know why the third division is retreating. It, if it was if it was the third corps or army of Shenandoah. So Grant was defeated in the siege. Yeah. We are kicked off the ground here five with 5,000 casualties. Although we have, look at the amount of disabled troops we have here. I don't know how to avoid this. Probably fight a field battle versus the weak tactical um, AI. I probably would have been better off engaging and actually attacking an, an outnumbered enemy here. This is not good for the Union. Funnily enough, we field 144k, and so does the uh, Confederacy. Now, I don't know how to recuperate this. I mean, we might see a counter offense. We might see a, an offensive into Maryland here. Um, because I don't have any forces behind. Army of Potomac is... <laughs> I guess we could reinforce Grant uh, with some Potomac forces. But with what? This militia division here? I guess. What am I doing here? All right, what I'm doing is I am sending the second militia division, which is now only it's like two thousand men, more men. I'm gonna transfer them over. Um, I'm desperately in need of better commanders. I have to say that Army of Shenandoah. I'm gonna give you the second militia division. If I can grab it, here it is. I'd rather have them not reinforce. Why you ask? Well, I'm... <clears throat> okay, so how do we handle this? Do we recruit more troops? Can't afford that, we're bleeding money. But I think we have to. Where's the department of what? Where are my departments here? Oh. Wait a minute. Huh. Seems like some army headquarters have disbanded. Yeah. Uh, I used to have a department of Washington here. And. I'm almost certain that when I moved out the recruited <clears throat> uh, 
and deployed brigades. I, I recruited a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. But now it's gone. And the same here. Uh, we have one over here. The part of Pennsylvania. Hmm. So weird. All right. I guess we'll just recruit under directly under Army Potomac. They're not under threat to be uh, attacked right now. So let's just... Let's see. Are we still... Okay. We... <laughs> No, we have 169,000 volunteers. We'll have to recruit some New Yorkers. With the mounted troops we're sending away from the Army of Potomac uh, in Washington, D.C., over to the Army of Shenandoah and Grant, yeah, I just need to uh, throw more people into the meat grinder. Uh, I'm gonna call this I don't know maybe it's the fifth I can't remember N New York Brigade so the way I do it is I call all newly large 2500 men 36 month recruited brigades brigades whereas the 24 monthers are our garrisons and the 12 monthers that you get from the start of the campaign they are yeah, see, a garrison is 24 months. And militia, I call the 12 month troops. Just so that I know at a glance, I guess, why would I use the 24 month troops as garrisons? But it just turned out that way. At a glance, I can see by the name if it's a 12, 24, or 36 month uh, contract unit. Kind of handy, huh? Um, all right, what else? Department of Pennsylvania, I suppose. I'm desperate here after losing the battle at Harper's Ferry. We have so many casualties, yada yada. Our economy is in shambles. The only uh, state that has a lot of... Yeah, Pennsylvania still has 13,000 uh, volunteers. So, and I can't remember what number we're on. I'm just gonna give this uniform to all new modern 36 month recruits so if you see this uniform these colors you know they're winter 1861 three-year contract soldiers with springfield muskets not gonna bother about leaders now okay might as well put him under there and we'll call them fifth pen Sylvania Brigade and I don't see any reason to use draft tees first we're not we don't have any draft tees so I'm gonna put them on volunteer I do want them to have high replacement priority because I plan on using these as my veteran troops they'll be around until end of 1864 right so these these guys have long term a chance to become veterans whereas my 12 months contractors Depending on what happens to those units when the contacts run out. If they are disbanded, yeah, I don't care if they're veterans. So I'm kind of using my one year contract soldiers as cannon fodder here, throwing them. Mo yeah, they're mostly into. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna reorganize the Second Corps and Army of Shenandoah a bit. At least it's a good thing Grant has the Ambulance Corps 1 perk because he has 7,000 disabled soldiers. Sick, wounded, all right. All right, so the perk only helps the wounded. The, the perk doesn't help the, the sick. And it, it wasn't a long time since he got this perk. So in this siege, the Army HQ, it's not Grant, it's the Army itself. has got an, a bit of perk experience here, like a third of one. How about the second core? I do feel that cores get less experience than army headquarters. Probably because the army headquarters gets experience from its own activities and this uh, subservient cores. But it's not, I think they need to increase the core experience a bit.
Wow. Um, I wonder if I need to make a winter offensive from Washington here because I was defeated in Shenandoah. Let's see what happens. Uh, maybe they don't pursue us into Maryland or maybe they will. I mean, they should be a bit messed up as well. We haven't lost. <sighs> We're going to burn this, aren't we? Yes, burn it down. I, I burnt another depot. Can I burn this hospital? Oh, people burning. Oh, people burning. All right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this. When you lost the battle, you shouldn't be able to burn down the, the depot. That was gamey. That was gamey. Or should you? I guess, I, yeah, I guess. All right, Grant was defeated. Uh, not good. So far, I'm mostly seeing the larger army win in sieges. Mostly means every time, every time. I never seen. Uh, yeah, I've never seen uh, a siege end with... Okay, we're on winter quarters now down here. I like that. We did capture Grayson and recapture Portsmouth here. Uh, oh, and we control Paintville as well. How far do we... We do not... Con oh, we control Abingdon. Now, isn't that weird that this... I think this turned Union just because I had cavalry up here at Grayson. Now, I really need to understand if this has to do with maybe uh, Virginia. No, I mean, Virginia should have very high state support and national support for the Confederacy. How can Abingdon just turn into Union? This feels bugged or glitched or whatever. I mean, yeah, we did march down to Knoxville and capture it, so I can understand us controlling it. But I can't control is how the AI hasn't retaken it yet because I left it and retreated up here. Bad AI, bad AI. But let me know in the comments below if you know why Abingdon became Union controlled. It doesn't. It doesn't feel right to me. There's like no reason for it to turning Union. If it was in like bleeding Kansas or. Kentucky being heavily contested and towns change allegiances on their own. Uh, I might think like, okay, that's probably a feature it has to do with uh, state support or something. But many times it's just black magic. Like, oh, now this side controls this town somewhere. Morale is panicked. I think I need to move uh, these boys to a uh, depot. It's a guess, but where's the nearest depot? It's up here in Camp Curtain. Huh. Do I want to build? They're not that expensive. The last one I built cost under 2 million. So maybe Frederick here needs a... They're moving to Frederick. Okay. Good. Good, we're gonna build. I'm just hoping that <clears throat> AI will leave me alone now. So, a, a grand strategy advice would be just siege with uh, the higher number. As long as you outnumber the enemy, you should be okay. Grant is at his destination, which apparently isn't Hagerstown. I don't know why I'm getting this message message when he continues to retreat to Frederick. Like if I were to react on this tooltip or notification, I would be disappointed because oh I can't give him orders. He's still retreating. Uh okay now they stopped and let's see how much this depot is gonna be. I'm, I'll try to place it behind Frederick. Mm. Wonky Ponky. Uh, is it too close to another? Do we have already have a depot here? I don't think so. We have a water wheel, a mill. Mm. 
Oh, do I have to low readiness? 1.9 it should cost. Yeah, I don't think we can build because of the readiness. You need to be yellow readiness. All right, that's unfortunate. Um, do I want to retreat further with them? They're very close to yellow. I think it's weird you can't build uh, a depot even though you kind of... Oh, now you can. You see, it's just... There you go. 1.9 million. Well worth it. It's gonna take a month, right? 11... 14 days only. Hmm. Whew! Okay, winter camp. Uh, we're being pushed. We have been pushed out of Valley of Shenandoah with heavy losses. Now, yeah, twenty-four thousand casualties in total here. We used to be two to one. We're kind of losing more now than the Confederates. We are not keeping our great ratio of uh, casualties, but we are uh, occupying parts of West Virginia still. I guess that's the good news. And we're controlling Washington. That's good news. There are nine Confederate invasions. Do you want to see which one they are? Okay. Yeah, I'm not strong enough to oust them from Arkansas here. Another Arkansas invasion, I suppose. We have troops here. Oh, they're messing around in Western uh, Kentucky. Yeah, and they're built. Oh, shit. They have forces up here around Evansville. Hmm. Okay. Army of Kentucky, which is my, our newest army. I guess we need to react. Either we move over here to Evansville or we threaten Hartford. I don't know what's going on here. How large is this force? We do have a fort here in Louisville, so we have kind of a defense here, but we don't have any defenses at Evansville, so we're gonna move. I'm hoping they'll take the railroad over here. Oh, you know, they can just go by river. Cool. This is not an invasion, is it? I wouldn't call this an invasion. Because it's in Virginia, but the game does. Same here. We're still in Vir West. Is West Virginia being invaded by the Confederates? Okay, now I can understand why we have nine Confederate invasions. Isn't. I don't understand. I mean, Virginia is a Confederate state, correct? Yes, it is. So. Uh Gonna go with front lines. This is so weird. It'll oh, wait. My apologies. We cannot turn back the map borders on, and boom! All of a sudden, you can see that. No, this is West Virginia. Grafton is in West Virginia. Is that considered a Union state? I think it is. Okay, so even. Oh, wait, I take, oh, I take, I'm an idiot, my bad, this is, West Virginia has been created, that's why we're seeing all of a sudden nine confederate invasions, all right, so, yeah, because I took, <laughs> I wasn't even aware, all right, uh, that should show on the national morale, yes, the national morale of the confederacy was lowered, 2.5 points to 88 from losing West Virginia. Good news. I guess that's compensation for uh, losing the battle of uh, Harpers Ferry or Winchester here. The siege. Grant, you couldn't do what uh, McDowell and uh, Hamilton managed to do here in West Virginia. Good job, guys. 1st of December. Alright, I think that's enough. 
uh, slow play and talking and chit chatting. I usually don't record these kind of uh, strategic map playthroughs because they're slow, they're finicky. You know, who want to watch an old dude uh, recruit brigades? If you made it to the end, congratulations, you're one of, one of them. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next December stream. Trying to keep it short here. 50 minutes is way too long. Bye.